I love it. I'm going to, you're going to go over here. <laughs> Let's give him his walkout music. How are we, people? You good? Nice one. Thank you for coming down to uh, the Osa Arena. Great memories for you here, right? Yeah, of course. Last year we had two memorable nights here. Yeah, very memorable nights. And we'll probably have some more in the future as well, to be honest. Let's hope so. so straight off the bat, got to ask, how's the body? It's getting better, like, but I've still... Like, I got surgery at the start of March, and on my foot I had, like, three surgeries in one. I've had inner ligament reconstruction, outer ligament reconstruction, and something done to my CFL in the middle. So I've had a lot of work done, and... The doctor has said they'd be happy for me to fight before the end of the year, but obviously I need to I need to get stuff sorted to get back over to the US and get into the PI and get my uh, foot looked at by the proper physicians there and see what they think, because you know me, lad, I want to fight as soon as I can. <laughs> 100%. Well, hopefully we can get you some positive things to focus on. I know that you've now had the surgery done, so that's in the past, and I'm, I'm sure you're putting together a fantastic rehabilitation program. Um, I'd like you all to join me in this congratulations as well. So congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pimblett as well. Got married recently. Photos looked absolutely stunning as well. Was it a great day? Uh, yeah. You know, when you, you expect something to go wrong, don't you, on a day like that? But everything went right, lad. It was sad. <laughs> How many people came? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I think it was like 100 in the day and another 50, 60 in the night or something. I'm not sure. Did you get absolutely ruined by the best man speech? Yeah. <laughs> I was sloshed. To be fair, I don't really drink. I don't really drink that much. Um, but that day, we had, um, what were the porn star martinis just on tap. And I was just like, boom, boom. We got that lad. Was, by the time we were getting put photos, I drank about seven of them. So, yeah, I was sloshed. When it comes to the speech, I was just rambling. Absolutely talking pony it was bad <laughs> i'm sure you got some great memories and uh, and a great video to go with it as well um watching your social media i sort of picked up on it but your team have been telling me things have obviously gotten a little bit more challenging for you to just be around the normal people you've gone out in a disguise but they don't work too well paddy from what i understand uh, when I went to Glastonbury, I had a little disguise, I had a little hat and that, you know what I mean, and a pair of sunglasses where I had a little moustache hanging down. <laughs> and it, it worked a lot of the time, you know what I mean? Sometimes people still got on me, like, but it worked. It is challenging going some places. It's not. I don't mind it, you know what I mean? I get pictures with anyone, I really don't mind. As long as people are polite and they've got manners, I'll get a picture with anyone. But um, it annoys the wife and the, my family and some of my friends, you know what I mean, when we're just out trying to have a meal or something like that and people are casing coming over so yeah as I say I don't mind as long as you're polite it's sound <laughs> and a, a new name for you as well Paddy the Baron because you've now got an entourage so you look like some kind of Bond villain apparently your team have changed up that nickname <sighs> don't know that's news to me but yeah nice one Rim that'll be Rim at that <laughs> therefore that'll be Rim <laughs> Great stuff. All right, well, I'm going to hand it over to the floor now and see what our friends have got. Our friends in the media, who's first up? Yes, please go ahead. Hello, Harry Davies with Mayor here. What's up, uh, man? Paddy, it's been about seven months since your last fight and the lightweight division has changed a lot. What's your sort of assessment of the division since you've been out? That is the, the heaviest division in the sport, you know what I mean? People just get beat by people you don't expect, you know what I mean? When you're watching, when you look at results from the lightweight division, that there's always upsets every every week. So I can't really say, oh, I'll fight him when I come back or I'll fight him because you don't know what's going to happen by the time I do end up coming back. I don't know when my next fight's going to be. I know you mentioned it there, but your name's been mentioned a lot, even in the time you've not been fighting. Is there really not anyone that you want to fight or just wait and see who it is when you come back? No, I'm just waiting to see when I come back. You know what I mean? Um, Obviously, Favol is a nice one. Um, that's a good... He called me out. But I think about 12 people have called me out in the post-fight <laughs> interview, to be honest. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens in the future. I'd love to do a season of The Ultimate Fighter with Ilya Taporia. I reckon that would be hilarious. What were your thoughts on Ilya's last fight? He looked good. You know what I mean? He did look good. Thank you. A whole season? Like, locked away? That'd be funny, that, wouldn't it? 
I mean, it would be funny. I'd, I'd, I'd get under some people's skins there, me. <laughs> I can see the menace in your eyes there. Yes, please. Hi, Paddy. Yeah, I know before you spoke about wanting to spend quite a few years in America, maybe on pay-per-view cards and that sort of thing. But if Leon could maybe defend the belt another time back here with a pay-per-view, could you see that as your sort of route back to fighting here in London? Yeah, definitely. I'd love to do that. If Leon was going to defend the belt here in, say, March, I'd love to call me an eventer, definitely. And just to talk about this card as well, obviously a lot of British talent. And I suppose you'll be a bit jealous not being out there tomorrow, but uh, how excited are you for, for Tom and Molly, of course, as well? Yeah, it's boss. A brilliant night of fights. There's loads of good scraps on there, major uh, British talent on there. So it's going to be nice, obviously. I'm keeping my eye mainly on, on Molly and then Tom in the main event. Can we just elaborate on Molly? Because of course, we've been hearing her all week. She always sounds great. And to us, looks great right now. But what's she been like in the gym? She's been on fire, to be honest. She's looked very good. So I'm looking forward to getting in there and putting the last fight behind her. You know what I mean? Getting back in the wind column. Any more from... Yeah, so, yeah. go ahead. One more. Paddy, you said about doing the ultimate fight with Ilya. I'm curious what sort of pranks we could see you pull on that show. I don't know. Well, I can't give nothing away now, can I? <laughs> would they even be able to show that on ESPN? No, I don't know. Be, I, I just think it would be hilarious. It'd be very funny. You um, mentioned about people calling you out. Does it kind of confuse you or annoy you, in fact, that people like Frivola are calling you out when you're injured and you can't even fight? It's, it's a bit of a mad one, like, when people calling me name out when they know I've just had surgery. But I understand what they're doing, you know what I mean? If you mention me, more people are going to watch your interview or watch the little clip, what you've just said. So... I can understand it. A lot of people have done it in post-fight interviews, but we'll see. I could end up fighting one of them people when I come back. Yeah. How frustrating has it been for people stopping in the street being like, oh, when are you going to fight next? And you're injured and you can't fight for six months. <laughs> I know what that is. That's probably the question I've been asked more than anything. And it's the most frustrating one because I wish I could give people a straight answer back and say, oh, I'm fighting then. But I've got no idea. And I feel bad if I turn around to someone and go, how long's a piece of string? <laughs> Any of our friends from the media? Anyone else got anything while we're trying to get this done? If you guys want to start queuing up behind those microphones left and right, that'd be good. Um, in terms of the rehabilitation process, Paddy, how do, you, how do you engage with that? Are you excited about getting into the gym and rebuilding your body, or are you more of the guy, the martial arts guy, who wants to just get back to sparring and rolling? Um, when you have a couple of months out, you just want to get back in the gym in general. You know what I mean? Like, the first thing I could do with get back in was lifting, doing a bit of lifting and stuff like that. And then I've got into other things, a little bit of striking, and then I've got into a little bit of MMA training and shit. So I can do a little bit of everything now, but I know my right calf is nowhere near as strong as my left calf. So I need to build that up. And that's how I'm saying that. And first opportunity I'm getting when I be coming back over to the PI, I'm doing some rehabilitation work on it with the professionals. Does it make it... Easier or more difficult having like a, a really successful podcast and, and being very much around the MMA sphere where you're almost required to talk about it on a weekly basis? Lad, I haven't done a podcast for ages, you know. <laughs> I need to get back on my podcast, but I've just been being a proper little lazy bastard the past couple of months. So, um, yeah, back in the gym, back getting busy on all my socials and stuff because last couple of months I've been quite lazy. Making sure that you own the playlist in the gym as well. Who's taken over since you? Because when I've come down, it's down to you to put the music on. Yeah, obviously. But since you've been away, like, who's been assuming when that I'm, role? Whoever's in camp, you know what I mean? I, if I come in and Molly's in camp, I'll let her put the music on. Whoever's in camp gets to put the music on, really. But usually it's me and her in camp at the same time. And I normally get the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yes, sir. Introduce yourself, where you're from, and we'll have your question. Thank you. Hi, I'm JK from London, and yes, I'm doing a bit of a Liam Gallagher impression at the moment, so don't laugh at me. Um, JK from Against the Feds, and first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to all you guys who come to these things on your, on your own. You're not alone when you're passionate about this sport. Feel free to come talk to us whenever you can. I've met a few of you already, you've come on alone, so massive respect to you guys. Um, my question is, now Paddy, recently you said that you've quite disciplined on here on out when it comes to managing your weight in between camps that's something that's going to be maintained throughout your career now and can we expect paddy the baddie 2.0 i 
I'm gonna try, like, <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep your weight down. I don't ever wanna try and go above like 85, 86 kilo again. I'm only about hovering around 84 kilo at the minute, which is sound, you know what I mean? When I go to America sometimes, I can get us like 96, 97 kilo. So, like, it's, uh, it's much better and it's much healthier, you know what I mean? You can do it, man. Stay disciplined. Thanks I'm, for I'm gonna Cheers. try, lad. I'm gonna try. <laughs> And I've been speaking with some of the guys in your team. It's a, it's a funny one because when you have to cut a lot, when any athlete has to cut down a lot of weights, they can't properly refuel themselves for the necessary training. But when you get things like managed properly, you can actually fuel your body by eating more as you get deeper into fight camp. Yeah, you actually can do that. That's what I've done a couple of, I've done that before in a couple of fight camps and you feel 10 times better doing it. So in the future, that is what I'm going to try and do. But I can sit here and say it all at once. It's easier said than done. We'll see if I end up looking like a big fatty after my next fight, won't we? <laughs> Throwing it over to this side. Your name, where you're from? Thank you. I am Bailey from Southampton, and I am dying to know what is your meal deal? What, like a Tesco one? Yeah. Um, I'll probably go nice and simple, you know, like ham and cheese, ham and cheese butty, and like a pack of chilli sensations or something. And a little naked drink. Try and get your most for your value out of your meal deal. You know what I mean? So, whatever one, whatever drink costs the most. Thank you. The important questions are being covered. Yes, sir. Your name, where you're from, and your question. How you doing? Sai from ATF. Uh, hey, Sai. Good to see you again. Second time. I'm, I am following you. And I saw you today, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm definitely following you. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, um, in your past, like, there's, there's a lot of negativity as of late, you know, in terms of, like, the last fight, a lot of things coming up. But the future for you is bright, which is why you're getting called out by a lot of um, some top prospects as well. But I guess with what you've got coming up now, what could we expect from you next time, you, you know, we do see you back in the octagon, do you think? Um... Well, he's going to see a different version of me, to be honest, because it'll have been... I don't know how long it'll be, because I've, I've fought in December. I don't know when I'm going to end up fighting. I want to fight towards the back end of this year, but if I can't, I won't be able to, and it'll probably be here, March yeah. next year. So, probably see a completely different version of me, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, and you were quite critical about your last fight. Is there anything particular that you'll be looking to, to work on, most importantly, coming up for your next? Yeah. That's when it would be, would you say? Yeah, I won't be going into another fight injured like that's for sure. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. get that sorted. I'll be going into this fight 100 percent and yeah, I won't have any excuses after it because I had a few excuses after my last fight. Yeah. Hey, right, look, awesome stuff, man. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Ty. Si. Over to this side of the building, please. Hi, Paddy. My name's Jordan. I'm from London, and I'm a big Nathaniel Wood fan. Shout him out. He's going to get the win. Yes, tomorrow. lad. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so. Speaking of Nathaniel Wood, obviously he's come from Cage Warriors. You yourself came from Cage Warriors. Molly McCann came from Cage Warriors. Right now, they've got a card this evening. Is there any big names that you think are going to next come into the UFC from Cage Warriors? Anyone you got your eye on? Any teammates? Well, yeah, me, me little teammate, Luke, lad. He's a uh, six. Yeah. Luke Riley, six and all with five, five knockouts. And he's got the fact, the lad, he's going to be in the UFC in a few fights. But there's a few people on that card, lad. I also train with Harry Ardick now and then, whose brother George is fighting on the Contender Series. Harry's fighting tonight as well, lad. So I'm expecting a big performance from him also. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Yes, lad. Thank you. Lovely to hear you shouting out Thank those you. guys as well. Over to this side of the building. I do. That's a huge fan. I've got to say, Nick Pete's over there. And I think Nick Pete last year said an amazing thing. Paddy, last year, the most inspirational post-fight speech of all time about men's mental health. You were the Thank hero, you. you were the face behind it, and I think that's incredible. Just want to say, uh, what, what do you feel needs to be more done for that, and how was the reaction publicly? Because I thought it was such a positive thing, what you said. I think you're an amazing guy for that. It was, lad, it was, that was just something from the art, you know what I mean? It's year anniversary today of Ricky's death, to be honest. So, yeah. it's, um, it's horrible, lad. But men need to talk more, and they just don't. And it's mad, obviously, because it got... It got looked at as a boss thing, what I did and stuff like that. But then, you know, in my next fight, I didn't have the best performance. And I have people commenting on my stuff now that I should kill myself. So, you know, the world needs to sort itself out, doesn't it? God bless. God bless you, man. Thank you.
When you're ready, thank you. Hello, Pat. You all right, mate? What's I'm on from Butter. Good, mate. Yes, lad. I'm from Butter. Wonder if you had a Palmo yet? No, I still need to I'll get down to CJ's, lad, and stay in his and have a Palmo. Now, how did you get a 6x6 six six in, in an Alberga? You just asked for it. Mate, they couldn't give me it, you know. Ah, you haven't got as much pull as me, lad. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got as much pull, lad. Slacking. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, on this side of the building, thank you. Yeah, my name is Tunde from London. Yes, lad. Um, I have a question. So my question is, have you and Molly shagged? <laughs> you oh. do know Molly's a lesbian, lad, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Molly's a lesbian, she's got a fiancé, lad, and I'm married, so... Yeah, thank you so much, yeah? Oh, yeah, really? man. <laughs> All right, on the right-hand side, please. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Dan from Essex. Um, question is, you've said in the past about how you won't fight in the UK again unless the card is in Liverpool. Given that that seems unlikely, at least, you know, for in the short run, what fight or deal could make you change your mind to fight in London again? Um, I don't know, I can't even remember saying that. I talk shit, me. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll probably end up fighting again here next year, lad, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers a lot. Yeah, everyone loves it when I fight here, lad, and I love it myself. Can't beat a home, like a home crowd reception, lad. It's not unlike it. Beautiful. Who here would like to see Paddy fight in the O2 next year? There you go, I think we have our answer. Uh, yes, please. Hello, Paddy. Um, as Jackie, I spoke to you earlier about overcoming medical issues and um, yeah, I'm, I'm diabetic. Yeah, to you today. Yeah, spoke yeah. To you today. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I'm a type one diabetic and I'm epileptic, and coming with that also came a lot of issues with overcoming um, a bit of like depression, I, I suppose you could say, but like. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for speaking out for not only men's mental health, but mental health all over the world. You're such a big inspiration to me, man. Thank, thank you, honestly. Lad, people like yourself inspire me to get through every single day, lad, so thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Stay strong, my friend, thank you very much. Yeah, let's have a round of applause. Cheers. Oh, do I recognize you guys? Have we heard from you before? Look at this young man right here, step into the microphone. Please tell me your name and your question. Hello, I'm Louis from Bournemouth. If my auntie Molly is out in the back, um, can you stay strong and win in your fight? Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. Auntie Molly. Molly's nephew, yeah. Molly's nephew? Yeah. No way. Oh, I love that. Yes, please. Um, hi, John. My name's Andrew. I'm from London. I've seen your piece with Nathaniel Wood, great friend of Nathaniel's, and thank you for that. For someone that also suffers with OCD and anxiety, Paddy, my question would be to you, your post-fight speech was so inspirational, and it's reached out to millions, and I've seen what you do with the community back home in Liverpool. What is your one motivational message to people, whether it be mental health, whether it be whatever they want to do, boxing, football, MMA, what is your one motivational message to them to overcome anxiety, mental health issues, and pursue and follow their dreams? The main thing I always say to people is don't give up. Because as soon as you give up, it's over, really. You know what I mean? Once you quit, it's done. If you don't give up, lad, it's never, ever going to finish. So you just need to keep on trying at 100%, no matter what, no matter what you're doing. No matter if you're playing footy or boxing or fighting or doing whatever, lad, if you're a painter and decorator, you know what I mean? Do it wholeheartedly. Thank you so much, Paddy, and can't wait to see you against Matt Fravolo and Lilia Toporia here next year. Yes, lad, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's worth remembering, you guys, as much as we hold you up there on a pedestal, just human beings, right? You, you suffer yeah. the same struggles as everyone else. That's it, lad. You know what I mean? And we're, we're all the same. You know what I mean? We just get in a cage and fight in front of people. But we're all the same, really. But I do commend people like you and, and Nathaniel for sharing your stories as well. It's clearly helping a lot of people. Yes, sir. Hello. Um, two quick ones. Have you heard of a YouTuber called The MMA Guru? And do you also still think that Ariel Hawane is a spastic? Can't say that, lad. Sorry, uh, a sped. Uh, what a, 
Well, I, I, I can't agree with that, know what I mean? I can't say First that. Off, have you heard of the MMA guru? I've heard of him, yeah. I've seen a few videos of him. thoughts or opinions on his criticisms nah, of your I'm fight? I'm not really asked, lads, know what I mean? If, so, he'd be in the cage doing something true, if, true. if he could. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Over to this side. Hello. Uh, my name's Ash from Against the Fence. Um, the media mentioned uh, the fight with Matt Favola. Um, how does your style match up against him if that fight was to be next? Yeah, I think it matches up sound. Like, styles make fights, lad. Know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be an exciting one. It would be a very good fight, and that's what I'm about, lad. I like being yeah. in exciting fights. So, Do you I'm, think you'll accept it if it gets offered to you? Yeah, of course I would. What do you think this is, lad? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did I see he got quite creative with some graphics? No, he, he, no, I got quite creative with some graphics, didn't I? Because uh, my man plays, caught him here. He come over to me when I was in the PI in like December, singing Oh Paddy the Baddy. Like, oh, you know what I mean? And was, we caught him on video doing it, and then he called me out, you know what I mean? So, it's a bit two-faced, but, you know. There's one place, one place you can settle it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, sir. Paddy, obviously you're a big advocate for mental health. A lot of people have mentioned it. First of all, you've supported a lot of people when they're having a bad time. Yeah. You haven't had an easy time the last few months. It must have been difficult. You already support our brand. We brought you a present. Thank you very much, lad. Like, when you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. You've been down. Not a lot of people have had your back. You know, got a lot there, of stick. Size nines, mate. You already wear the brand. These yes, are for you. lad. Thank you very much. I do already. You know the you know the brand, Zach yeah. Footwear. I'm on it. Thank Paddy, you very much, you're lad. You're a superstar. Thank you. Nice one, lad. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well done, fella. We're going to keep that safe. Yeah. We'll make sure no one else with size nine feet <laughs> goes anywhere near that. Yes, please. Hi, Paddy. This is Poodoff. I am. I especially came from Canada just to see you. And just wanted to ask you, it's going to be a very interesting question though. So, are you going to fight Logan Paul <laughs> in the undercard of Musk and Zuckerberg? If he wants to get his dough out, then yeah, obviously, you know what I mean? I'm a prize <laughs> fighter lad, if he wants to pay me, then yeah. Well, Perfect. Going to have to get his dough out, isn't he? Still, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to see you though, in that, in that fight, uh, that'd if be, possible. That'd be easy work, easy that, like, way? come on, uh, come on. I see. You're going to win, though. That's <laughs> on you. Yes, please. Hi, Paddy. Obviously, you're a, you're a massive star in the sport. So, realistically, with your pull, how many fights away do you reckon you are from a, from a title fight? Glad I'm miles away from a title fight, lad. After my last performance, I don't even deserve to talk about a belt. So... We'll no, I reckon, I reckon, you yeah, know, lad, if the money's there, the money's it's gonna there. It's going to take a good, a good few fights, lad, know what I mean? I'm not even thinking about that at the minute. I'm thinking about putting, putting a few wrongs right in my next fight, lad. I reckon it's old school, Silva. One bad performance and maybe your stocks will be a bit down. Big knockout in the next fight. That's it, lad. When I come back, lad, everyone will be sucking ass again. <laughs> yes, please. Hello, Paddy. Uh, my name's Billy. I'm from Essex. Um, of course, your last fight against Jared Gordon, a lot of people sent, tended to uh, disagree with the result and people jumped rather on the Paddy hate wagon rather than the Paddy bandwagon immediately after that. Yeah. How easy is it to navigate the sort of spew of online hate that you get, particularly behind like faceless accounts on Twitter and all that? Is it easy to ignore or does it sometimes, as much as you'd like it not to, get to you a little bit? Um, yeah, you've just got to ignore it, lad. I mean, if it's, I don't know, lad, if I, if I read into all them, lad, probably wouldn't still be here. Some of the comments that I've put underneath some of them posts. You know what I mean? If I listen to some of them, lad, they wouldn't still be here, so... You just don't listen to them, lads. You just put them at the back of your mind. Obviously, I love every bit of support I get, every, every positive comment I get, I love, but... I can't, can't read through them all sometimes, because there's some disgusting ones. Yeah. Cheers, Paddy. Over on this side of the building. Thank you. Paddy, I know everyone's been up at the minute. He's been, everyone's been saying, oh, we appreciate you for talking about mental health, but personally, I do want to say that... I also thank you for that as well, and I think everyone out there suffering with mental health also appreciates that. But, um, on to my question. Um, everyone's been talking bad about your performance against Jared Gordon, about how people think that Jared Gordon won. Would you consider a rematch when you come back, just to shut up the doubters? I thought about it at first, lad, but 
I was thinking, nah. <laughs> just because, like, he was talking all pony after it, lad. Like he won. You know what I mean? He's had close fights before, lad, where he got the he got the nod, and I, his opponent should have, and he didn't. That his opponent didn't react like that. So I think he was a bit of a bitch ass after the fight. <laughs> but you know, we get on with it. It's not my fault. The judges give it my way, lad. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Thank you. All right. Yes, please. Uh, hi, Paddy. I'm Angus from Alpha Plug. Um, my question is, I have a friend with a fight coming up soon. Uh, shout out on there. Um, what advice would you give to someone who would uh, like to calm the nerves on fight night? Yeah, um, I don't know, lad. I've just always had a saying. What's the point in being nervous when you know you're going to win? Sound to think of that. All right, will do. Thank you. Simple. Simple but effective. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, Yo, right, Paddy, I want to ask you, can you tell everyone your McDonald's order after you've had a win? Depends. The heavy one. Depends. Heavy or what? It depends what's on at the time. So, like, whatever the special burger is. So, like, say it's the double Big Mac. Yeah. I'll get the double Big Mac. And Just then, like, everything. Everything you can get. I get a double Big Mac and a triple cheeseburger and a chicken mayo. You know what I mean? And then my bird will get 20 nuggets that I'll probably eat half of them. Mint, mint. Did you well, just throw your missus under the bus there as well? No, nah, my bear gets 20 nuggets. I eat half of them. I'm, just, I'm being honest. She gets 20 you know nuggets because you're going to take over half of them. She could eat a good 15 on her own, like, couldn't you, Laura? Where is she? She's here somewhere. Okay. Was that you done? Yeah. All the best, mate. Yes, lad. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. We'll come back to you, young man, in just a second. Yes, please. All right, guys. My name's Tyler. Um... You've been uh, obviously mentioning mental health loads and uh, you're telling everyone to speak out. And when you say everyone, that doesn't exclude yourself. So as you said before, it's coming straight from your heart. This is coming straight from mine. How is your mental health? And how are you dealing with all of this? Because this is mad. <laughs> to be honest, lad, a couple of months ago, it wasn't doing very well, lad. You know what I mean? March, April time. Yeah, I was I'm sure in, we can It all. was like after I got surgery, lad sitting on my couch, just in pain with me foot for a few weeks. And then yeah. couldn't even go upstairs. I was sleeping on the couch and that. Man. It was it was a rough couple of weeks. But I'm through the other end of it now, which is nice. You know what I mean? I'm, I can actually come back in the gym doing bits of training. And then I've actually got a smile on my face most of the time now. Nice. Lad, so thank Love you very that. much for asking that. I appreciate it. No worries. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and thanks for sharing that, Penny. And if you don't mind, I mean, you can tell me to move along, but when you're in those moments, like, how have you managed to pull yourself out? Has it been a process of sharing, bringing, yeah. like, professional help? Sharing with those closest to me, you know what I mean? Sharing with my wife, my friends, my family. It's the only way you get through things like that, I think, you know what I mean? And I, I don't know if it will mean much, but I'm sure we've all been listening to a lot of the content that's been coming out from Tom Aspinall, and he shared exactly the same sentiment. He said, when you're there staring at a, a swollen leg or foot and you're super active human beings, it's never going to be easy. Yeah, even now I look down at my foot and see these scars on my foot, and I'm just like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Well, that's a good one. I look like I've been slashed. You know what I mean? Like, and I've got one on the other side. It's, it's just weird looking down at my feet. It'll get better. You'll be back. Yeah, it wants to. <laughs> <laughs> it will do, it will do. Yes, young man, what's your question, please? And first, what's your name? My name is Josh, and Paddy, I watch your YouTube channel, and it's an inspiration for me. Yes, lad, thank you very much, little man. I appreciate the kind words. Would you like Paddy to give you a big shout-out? What was your name again? Josh. Yes, Josh. I'm going to get Josh. Paddy to say... A big hello to his number one fan, Josh, okay? Go on, Is that a Charlton kit he's got on as well? Yes, lad. Belter. My mate, Josh, the Charlton fan. Thank you very much, Josh. In the Arctic Monkeys chair. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, there, guys. My name's Mitchell. Um, I was just wondering, Paddy, obviously, as we know, Tom Aston was fighting tomorrow. Are you going to be attending? And uh, how do you think he does it? Or do you think he doesn't do it? Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, of course, lad. Be there watching Molly and then watching Tom. And yeah, I think Tom gets it done. I think he'll get TKO in the first two. First two. Nice one. Thank I'm, you very much. I'm confident. So, <laughs> so thank you, guys.
there's only like 0.1% of the population that get to make the walk on something like this. And the, and the population is even smaller to get the kind of reception that you, Molly, Tom, might get as well. Can you just tell us all here what it's like when you're coming out of that locker room? The kind of sights, the feelings, the vibrations. And it's when them lights go black. When the lights go black and everything's dark, that's like the goosebumps here, yeah? the feeling, it's genuinely, like, yeah. It's happening. We're about to walk out here. And when you turn that corner, because for those of you that haven't seen, there's like a, a hard left normally as you come out of the locker room and you face the curtain. You can see the fans hanging over, but what, what's that like? Spectacular. You know what I mean? If you don't love that feeling, then you're in the wrong game. Because <laughs> I love that, you know, when I turn that corner and people are hanging over shouting you. Yeah, there's no feeling like it on this earth. I can tell. Genuine smile there as well. Yes, please, sir. Hi, sir. Uh, small question. After you saw the performance of Ilya Topuria contra Josh Emmett, are you afraid of Ilya? Which? Josh Emmett versus Topuria. Apparently the performance of the year. Are you afraid performance of... Performance of the year? Canella, they couldn't finish someone who's going to retire soon. You're messing, aren't you? Okay. Josh Emmett's like 39, isn't he? I, th I think he's an inspiration. But he is of more senior years. Well, yeah, um, if you think that was a great performance, then yeah, but I could finish Josh Emmett in my sleep. Okay, thank you. Fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Paddy, what's up, bro? Jesus Christ. Yes, lad. Hot. What's up, buddy? You've had a few ales, haven't you? Come on. I need, I need to shoot my shot. So <laughs> I have an MMA page in Instagram called Pulp MMA, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to text you. Give me a shout I love you. Follow me, please, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Good effort. Uh, I think we're coming down to the last few questions here. So here we go. Paddy, once you finish with all this, you're going to watch Cage Warriors after. Yeah, I'm going, going yeah, after this. Boy. Go right over to Cage Warriors, lad. Go See on. a good few finishes. I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you all so very much for attending. But before we let him go, let's have a massive round of applause. Let's give him the chant. Let's give him the full London treatment. Paddy the Baddy Pimblet. Keep that going.